Hey everyone! So unless you've um, been on a desert island somewhere <laughs> this past month, then um, you probably know the company that I'm going to be talking about. Um, it is of course Glossybox. I have one to share with you today. Um, yeah, and of course if you don't know what that is, you know, that's fair enough. If you don't know what that is, it is um, finally people in the UK. It's our time to get a taste of what the people in the US have been showing us for months now. We've been really jealous about it. And that is, of course, um, the UK's answer to Birchbox. What you do is you sign up, you get a subscription. Um, the Glossy Box subscription is £10 a month. Um, and it's just for people in the UK. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just for people in the UK. You sign up, it's a rolling subscription, so you don't have to keep signing up. They just, you know, take the money when the next box is due to be sent out. And it goes on like that from the moment you sign up. You can stop it whenever you like, but it is £10 a month. And they send you five deluxe samples of beauty brands, hair stuff, uh, makeup, which of course is what everyone I th pretty much think is really excited about. Um, yeah, so between four and five deluxe samples of, of things. Um, that they think you'd like. Um, the first one, the first box, obviously because it is a new company, it's totally new, this is the first time that um, we've actually had this kind of thing in recent years in the UK. Um, because it's totally new, they can't tailor make it for you for the first box, but I do believe probably the second or third box is going to be tailor made. Um, and what I mean by that is, you can fill out a little form on the website when you sign up, which is glossybox.co.uk. I'll put the link down there. Fill out a little form um, saying what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like more of, what you don't want any of, and you know, pretty much. And then they kind of just fill your box to the uh, criteria that you marked out on the form. It's pretty simple. So um, this actual, this glossy box was actually sent to me by the company for consideration and to review. Um, you've probably already seen it. You probably already know what's in it. But if you don't, then this is the video for you. Um, it looks like this. It's really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I just love the packaging. It has a pull tab. This has glossy box written on it. You just pull it off. Um, these are all raw mail tracked, as it says. And the wonderful thing about this, which I didn't actually realise, is then they're, they're not signed for. You don't need to be in um, and sign for it. So this was just on my doorstep when I got back. So that's quite good because it's usually if it's signed for, they have to take it away if you're not in. So nope, it'll just be, it'll just be left. Um, you know, if you're not in. Um, inside. It looks like this. Get another nice box inside, and a lot of people. I've already, I've already looked at uh, other people's reviews, so this wasn't new to me. But um, a lot of people have said that these boxes are absolutely gorgeous, and they should be used for storage. And they are. They're really stunning. They're really stunning. I mean, you probably pay about ten pounds for a box of this standard, really, like um, stationery wise. And they look like this inside. So I'm definitely going to keep this box. They're beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, and then this is what it looks like. Now mine came with, I haven't seen this before, I think, I don't know if this is because it's a PR press box or whatnot, but this is a um, glossy box CD, so I would imagine that's just about the company. I'll have a look at that later. Um, and then I got a lovely little note from Jana, who is of course the founder of Glossy Box, so that's very nice, and um, press release. And then the little introduction, and on the back, is the list of the products that are in the glossy box. So, all pretty pretty standard, pretty self-explanatory, beautiful, well worth the money, I think. Um, and then here are your products. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'll go through them quickly. As I said, you've probably already seen them, but if you haven't, then I will go through them. The first one, of course, which probably caught your eye already, this was rumored um, a couple of weeks ago that there was gonna be a NARS product in the first glossy box, it's true. This is beautiful. This is the NARS Orgasm Illuminator. It's 30mm. It's a huge size. I don't even think this is a sample size. This is proper size. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I have it swatched on my hand already. And it's just there. That's just a tiny little swatch. That's just one tiny little, tiny little swatch there. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I was so excited about this. Um, and it looks like this. It's beautiful. It's just this. I mean, this is the star, to be honest. Everybody said that. This is worth £10 of anyone's money. Um, considering what this retails for, it's worth £10 of anyone's money. I mean, seriously. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, it's just, it's just so stunning. Pucker Nars packaging, obviously. Pucker stuff. And it is just their uh, regular orgasm illuminator. And it looks like that. Just a squeezy tube. It's really beautiful. 
really really beautiful love it um, you, you're never ever gonna get to the end of this it doesn't matter if you use it every day so that was the start it's what everyone said was the start they're damn right it's it's that I think for um, you know a new company to kind of get somebody like this on board and um, and put it in in the first glossy box I think it's fab so that's NARS orgasm illuminator the next makeup item there are only two makeup items um, a lot of people have said they'd like there to be more makeup items. I have to agree with them, but you know, you see, see what you get in in the in the upcoming months. This is um, a Daniel Sandler lipstick. It's all for Eve lipstick, um, and this one is in. It looks like this. Sorry, I haven't showed you. It looks like this, and this one is a is a beautiful red. It's beautiful. I find it's quite strange actually because I did, as I said, I looked around at reviews of this and. You know, it was kind of difficult to get away from. People were taking pictures of it, putting it on Twitter. People were blogging about it. People were running and creating videos about it yesterday. And I, I sort of sat there and thought, oh, where's mine? <laughs> and, and the more I saw the pictures, the more I couldn't wait to get it. So, yeah. Um, and I, I did think at the time this was a very strange shade to put in um, a kind of samples box for, for kind of a, a, a mass kind of cross of people, really, because it is a red lipstick. Um, but... You know, I mean, a lot of people like it, a lot of people won't. I really like it. It's uh, called Eve Red. And then it looks like this. And it's pretty startling in the tube. I mean, it is, but it's absolutely stunning, but it is pretty startling in the tube. And when you put it on, it looks like that. It's a true blue red. It's gorgeous. Um, I don't actually think I have too many reds like this. I think I have one, but I think even the one that I have is a tiny little bit brickier than this one. This is a nice blue red. So I do like that. I will be featuring that in a tutorial um, soon because I think it's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. It's very nice. Very, very nice. And of course that is full size. So we're doing well so far, aren't we, for a sample box? We're doing very well. The next thing is this. Um, this is by Alterna. Alterna? And it's their Caviar Anti-Aging Colour Hold Rapid Repair Serum. And this is a courses for your hair. And it looks like this. There are no instructions on this that I can see. No, there are no instructions on this. However, I would, one would imagine that you spray it just onto the end of your hair. Um, and it is, of course, for coloured hair, so let's see. Oh, it smells nice. Oh my goodness, it smells fruity. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I like that. But I do have a tendency um, to colour my hair, so that will, you know, anti-aging colour hold spray. Can't really complain about that. I think that's pretty nice. It smells nice. Mm, very nice. And you get 25 ml of that, so another huge, another deluxe sample. Um, the next one is this one, which I thought was very, very cute. And this is Bionova Nano Skin Tech. Um, this is actually a little sample size. So it says it on the side. This is Science Beauty and Customization. And it looks like this. Just like that. Um, and this is a cleanser. Uh, some people said, I've been reading their blog, some people said it didn't come with instructions, they didn't know what to do with it, but mine has instructions, so I don't know. I don't know what happened there with the other people. Um, and it is the Bioactive Cleanser for normal dry skin. I don't have dry skin. Well, I say that, my skin's getting very dry in parts, actually. So I will try that, and what you do is you just, you don't put it near your eyes, which is a bit, it's a bit annoying. I'm not really a fan of cleansers that um, you can't use near your eyes. But it's really nice to try something very different, and I, is it an oil? Did it say it was an oil? I think it's oil based, yeah. So that's very, very cute. And then the last thing for this month for Glossy Box is the Invigorate Lotion from Koma Shabala, which is softening skin with essential oils of eucalyptus, geranium, lavender, and peppermint. Um, and it looks like this. You get 50ml of this. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. I was kind of a bit reticent about it because, as I said, I'd read other people's reviews and a lot of people said this was kind of weird weird scent, didn't like it. However, I love this because it smells exactly like Emma Hardy's um, Rejuvenating Night Cream, which I have raved about, which is very expensive. So it's really nice to have something that kind of smells ex like expensive, but without the price tag. I, I love it. I think it's really nice. I think it smells exactly like lavender and, and geranium, pretty much. It's really nice. Not too peppermint -y. I really like it. I think that's very nice. So I was quite I was quite pleasantly surprised by that. So that is the May Glossy Box. Um, that's the first box that Glossy Box have sent out. 
Um, I hope they manage to send out many, many more in the months to come. As I said, it is £10 a month and it is a roll-on subscription where they just take the money out as soon as the next box is due to be dispatched. Um, so £10 a month, £120 a year. It really does depend, doesn't it really? It depends whether you, I mean everyone likes getting posts. I'm a big child when it comes to getting posts. I'm very, very excited by all sorts of posts. Um, not bills obviously, but you know, pretty packaged posts. So um, I think the £10, £120 a year is really, I think I think that's very reasonable actually. You know, I, you never know until you get something, so I wanted to reserve judgment on it and the, and the, the cost and everything before, you know, um, I wanted to reserve my judgement until I saw it. And now that I've seen it, I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I think the boxes themselves would probably cost you a tenner if you went to a stationer's. Um, and uh, the first product that, you, that your eye immediately goes to is something by NARS. So they've pretty much, they pretty much got me there. I think their products are lovely. Um, can't comment on, on the payment processing or anything like that. As I said, it, well, it was sent to me, but um, I have been keeping up with them on Facebook and Twitter, and they're very, very helpful. Very helpful. Um, they go above and beyond pretty much and I actually asked them um, a question on Twitter and they got straight back to me like five minutes later and yeah so very very impressed so I hope you enjoyed that guys I hope you go and have a, a look at the website go and check it out maybe it be something you're interested in maybe not but um, yeah it's uh, it's a very good deal and you know of course the, the products are the products speak for themselves so let's hope that next month's box is just as good or even better who knows so uh yeah thanks so much for watching guys i'll put all the links um glossybox.co.uk down below so you can go check that out if you want to and i will see you guys very very soon also if you want to see clearer pictures they'll be up on my blog very soon so thanks so much for watching bye everyone